Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and I create solo travel vlogs often around Europe. This time we're in Alaska on day four of my cruise from Vancouver to Alaska and welcome to Skagway, Alaska. So we're on day four of this trip, which is really exciting. We've got a train ride ahead, a bike ride ahead, and of course, exploring the beautiful mountains and birds and sea and sky that's available here in Skagway, Alaska. Let's get going. That's a big boat. the train of the White Pass and we're just waiting to take off on this scenic old railroad. We're going to be going all the way to Fraser, BC and then crossing back into the US. So we actually get to go to Canada and then to come back. So let's go. The train ride we went on started in Skagway, Alaska and ended in Fraser, British Columbia. So we went from the US to Canada and the train started at sea level and it ends at 2,767 feet or about 845 meters for the rest of the world who uses that metric. The train tracks even go as far north as the city of Whitehorse in the Yukon, however our excursion wasn't that extreme. The White Pass and Yukon Trail ride was actually part of the Klondike Trail where a mix of Canadians and Americans thought that they struck gold. It was founded in 1896 by George Carmack and two First Nation companions, Skookum Jim and Dawson Charlie. They thought that they found gold, which is also known as the Klondike Rush. And because they wanted to find easier ways to get to the area that they thought the gold was, in 1897 a gentleman named George Brackett, a former construction engineer of the Northern Pacific Railway, paved a 12 mile road toll up the White Pass that unfortunately was ignored by travelers, so basically the toll was useless. In 1898 that Bracco was paid $110,000 for rights to this road so that construction could begin by the newly formed company, the White Pass and Yukon Railroad Company. And if you've been part of this channel for a while, you know that your girl really isn't deep into history lessons, however sincerely appreciated what this history brought us today. It's an incredible landscape that we wouldn't be able to experience if folks in summit, hike, climb, and risk their lives in risky conditions and rough terrain on the search for gold. In present day, it's primarily used for tourism and to showcase the beautiful landscape of the north and my favorite part was that we got to touch back down on Canadian soil. did board the train when we arrived in Fraser, BC, but it probably goes down as one of the easiest U.S.-Canadian border crossings I've ever done. Alright, we just exited the train, which you actually go through Canadian customs up here in Fraser, BC. Uh, uh, an agent just boards the plane or the train and now we're gonna go on a bike ride. We're in Fraser, BC. Time to put my toque on. 
that we were in Fraser, BC, we had to get back to our crew somehow in Skagway. And there were a few excursion options. You could take the train back, you could also take a private vehicle. But what we opted for is to bike down the summit. It was 95% downhill, so it was super easy in terms of physicality. And you're just cruising down a BC Alaskan highway with big truckers, buses, and you're on the side of the mountain. I wish I had footage of the downhill. However, I need you to hit that subscribe button below to help me get a GoPro for the next adventure. Do make sure to bundle up though, because it's pretty icy wind that's hitting your face and it's basically like nature's brain freeze. All right, stop two at a waterfall. So far, so good. It's just really cold. So glad I have this bottle. It's like brain freeze. Nature's brain freeze. The last part of this biking adventure is that we had to get back into the US since we were technically still on Canadian soil. There was only one way to do it and it was on our bike. So I'm gonna cross that off my bucket list and one of the easiest American Canadian border crossings and probably the coolest I've ever done where you just literally ride on through. We finished the bike tour, which was so fantastic. Uh, I'm hungry now, and we're just walking down the town of 800 people that's tiny of Skagway. This is the town of Skagway. Oh, my lips are so purple. We just completed, I'd say an hour, maybe a bit more, biking tour down the mountain, down the summit of where the train stops, and you even cross the border on bike, which I think is pretty cool. random facts I learned about Skagway is there's only about 800 residents year round and in the seasonal time which is only summer there's 2,500 residents so it's definitely a small town the town is maybe four blocks by 22 blocks so it's not a whole lot there's one grocery store and a lot of the food comes in on the barge so I don't know what the people do here besides go to the nine bars that are available and they did share that most of their economy is tourism based so obviously doing one of these tourist activities helps bring work to this place but I would highly recommend that bike tour if you like you're going downhill mostly so you just need to have working hands and to bundle up this bal balaclava like scarf was so good a couple layers I've gone, got on a puffer, a sweater, a t-shirt, a long sleeve, and a tank top, and I also have two pairs of pants on. I've got some Lulu leggings underneath. Blundstones were perfectly fine. Fantastic bikes. That's with Sockeye Cycle Club through the cruise. But if you want to ride with them independently, we're going to head back to the boat, get some food, get a drink, probably a coffee, and uh, maybe a nice dinner tonight. Tonight's outfit, we decided to spice up, ignore the clothes from today. We've got on my little blouse that is from a thrift shop. And then we put our little scarf that was from my purse. We got white jeans on and then some native, super lightweight flats on. Because you know what? It's freaking cold out and my mom's earrings from the 80s. It's really cold outside and there's really snow in the mountains, but I'm bringing the beach tonight because it's almost summertime. I want to feel like it, even though tonight's dress is casual, but to me, this is casual and still have on my line tank top from bike riding today. We're going to go for dinner at the dining room, which is like 10 out of 10, the food. And apparently tonight there's some kind of almost vegan curry on the menu, a tofu curry. I'm really excited. Let's go eat. Mm -hmm. 